There are intricate patterns that connect us all. From high above or under a microscope, explore our world through these macros and discover how interconnected we really are. The visible token of our excesses we see in the ocean first. The ocean is downhill from everywhere. There's a loosely knit island of plastic debris, 1,000 miles wide, floating in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and the United States. Captain Charles Moore, skipper of the Algita, discovered this plastic vortex. Here, he shares his findings. When plastic hits the ocean, it starts to embrittle and break into pieces. And in that process, you get just about any color and any shape mimicking a natural food source in the ocean that you can imagine. In the surface waters of the area, there was six times as much plastic as naturally occurring zooplankton, which is the base of marine food webs. Plastic is a sponge for hydrophobic pollutants, things that repel water like oil. Many of our pesticides, herbicides, and toxics are hydrophobic. They're oily. They repel water, but they stick very effectively to plastic. It's virtually impossible to remove it once it's made its way to the ocean. Netting it up, first of all, it's too big of a job because it's mixed into the water column and the ocean is too big. Secondly, you'd be removing all this sea life along with the plastic because your net would catch the zooplankton as well as the plastic. People should know that not only is all life interconnected, it's interconnected in a way that really concentrates the harm back to the generator of the pollution. Robert Frost said that nature is always hinting at us. It hints over and over again, and suddenly we take the hint. This might be one of those occasions in which humanity suddenly takes the hint. 